Hello Aries, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on your love life. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. So let's see what is going on in your love life. Please note that there is going to be bonus readings coming out this weekend and it's going to be focused on the yearly energies for 2022. So if you're interested in that, make sure to check it out. So what is going on in Aries love life? Okay. Very interesting. So the combination of cards that I have are giving me an indication of the fact that there's something that's very different about you during this time. This feels like it's your energy. I feel like there's an element of elegance. There's an element of sophistication that's coming through very heavily from many of you. Some of you could be going through a makeover. Some of you could be going through a process in which you're finding um, you know, a new path to take your life, to take the direction of it. There's something very special about you during this time. I feel like it's an energy that is radiating from within you. I feel like you're starting to see, you know, who you are and what you represent and what it all means in the grand scheme of things. This is going to be playing a role in your love life. I do feel like it is going to have an effect. It's the type of energy where, you know, you have a different approach to life. You have a different perspective on life. You know, you stand up tall and strong, you're proud, you have uh, places to go to, people to see those type of energies that I get from these particular cards. So it's very interesting that that would be the first uh, set of cards that would come out for you guys. So let's see, what is going on in your love life with the tarot cards? I feel like sometimes you have to evaluate things with everything else that is going on. Some of you could be feeling very motivated to change things up, to um, reinvent yourself as a result of what experiences you've had. It feels as if, you know, this change up is positive. And if you haven't been feeling that, you know, and you take a look at yourself in the mirror one day and you decide, well, you should do something a little bit different. You should follow that instinct. There's something very powerful about your energy during this time. I feel like, you know, there's a sense of you finding your own inner power. I feel like there's a sense of you feeling very strong, very comfortable in who you are and what you offer in a respective situation. There's a resilience that's coming across from your energy during this time. I feel like it's a glow up. I feel like it's an energy of you standing loud, standing proud, not allowing anybody to cross those boundaries. You are in a very good place during this time. If you've had some hardships, you've definitely pulled up your socks and you're not weeping over it. So that is a very powerful thing for you to go through. Now, the energies in terms of what's connecting both you and this person concerned, I feel like when it comes to love, when it comes to happiness, when it comes to joy, there's something that is worth holding on to for many of you. It doesn't have to be with respect to the specific person, but what I get from these energies is that you have redefined what love, happiness, and marriage is. I feel like there's an energy here of you not being open to offer your heart, your soul, and your mind to just anyone. There's an energy here of keeping parts of yourself to yourself. There's a part of your energy that is growing, that is expanding. So that is very powerful. This is definitely going to have an effect on your person. Your person's energy is giving me the impression of someone that is feeling a little bit overwhelmed, okay? They could be watching you on social media. They could be, um, you know, trying to understand who are you becoming? What is changing about you? Is there anything that they need to take into account? Because what I pick up from this individual's energy is an element of uh, feeling threatened, right? 
What if you go off and find love with someone else? They could be witnessing your glow up. They could be witnessing a change in your energy. They could be uh, recognizing that you're not hard up about them anymore. And so that's a very fascinating kind of thing to be, a, to be going on right now. I feel like for many of you, you bring something very special and very rare into anybody's world. I feel like you add that finesse to, um, you know, relationships and things of that sort. So let's get some clarity. Okay. I get the impression from this individual that they are feeling very threatened during this time. There's something here that is unnerving this person. I feel like there's an energy which is indicating that they feel very uncomfortable in their own skin. I feel like they have a few paths that are open to them. They're witnessing all these changes and transformations that are occurring in you as well as on the external level of what you bring to the table, your physical experience, your physical appearances, you know. So... This person that you're dealing with doesn't really know what to make of all of this, right? They could feel like, you know, you are wanting to draw more attention to yourself. They could feel as if, you know, they don't have the control and power that they once had in this given situation. And there's a possibility that you could be open to finding happiness with another individual. I feel like this individual feels certain to the point where there's a fear that if they brought what they had to offer you back to the table, you wouldn't want it. It feels like the energy is sort of like leftovers during this time. Yeah. There's been elements here of a lot of waiting, a lot of frustration, a lot of energies that are centered around, you know, trying to grapple onto something that is beyond them. I feel like what Spirit is trying to say is that there's a lot going on in your world. There's a lot that is going on in this person's world. There is this energy of feeling threatened. There is this energy of feeling intimidated by what is happening. But I feel like where there were elements that held certain things apart, there are energies which are indicating uh, something coming together. So it doesn't have to necessarily be with this individual. It can be with any other person. Yeah, something has clearly changed here for you, Aries. I feel like there's a lot of uh, power coming in from inside of you. I feel like your words have changed. The way you address people, the way you handle yourself in certain circumstances has changed. Your person is dealing with a completely different person um, during this period of time compared to a few weeks ago, a few months ago, one year ago, two years ago. I feel like there's this energy of you uh, not being afraid to stand up and to affirm who you are as an individual and what you bring to this table. Now, what I get from Spirit here is that there's an element of rarity that's coming into play. There's an element of uniqueness. There's something very special about your energy during this time, and I feel like you're recognizing it. Your person could be recognizing it as well, and this might be overwhelmingly difficult for them to swallow. But there is an energy here of this individual perhaps feeling as if they've been... Um, you know, punching above their weight. It feels like that sort of energy. I feel like when they take a look at you now or when they, um, you know, have a second chance to really, you know, evaluate the situation, I feel like they feel out of their league. This is a very unique energy. This is something I never anticipated to come out. It has come out in a very, you know, sort of shaky way. It has come out in a way in which this individual is struggling to face it. It feels like that sort of energy. It feels as if your person might have taken you for granted in the past, might not have known what they were doing, might not have had any idea of, um, you know, the ramifications of it or the effect that it would have. I feel like this person was lucky that you even looked at them. 
I feel like that's the type of energy that's coming across from this individual right now. It feels as if this individual should be grateful for the fact that you even spoke to them or that you even gave them the time of the day. That's the energy I'm getting right now from the universe. And it has come, in out, come out in a very um, you know unique sort of way. In fact, I've lost my words in some instances because I feel like uh, there's a very big shift here that is occurring and it is uh, much bigger than you would anticipate and much bigger than this individual would anticipate. There is an energy here of your person contemplating this situation and uh, wondering if what they bring to the table is enough or, you know, can they measure up given the transformation that you've endured and went through? Because I feel like this individual doesn't feel as if they can stand toe-to-toe uh, -to -toe with you. I feel like this individual doesn't feel as if they are on the same uh, sort of platform as you. It feels like that sort of energy, which is very interesting to see. There's something about this individual wanting to take initiative. But this initiative is very rushed. It almost feels like a spur of a moment. It doesn't really have a plan. There's no real plan in place here. There's just... Um, this very impulsive sort of energy, right? Yeah. I feel like your person is witnessing your change as an individual and it's causing them to want to do something. It's causing them to want to, um, you know, change things up as well, possibly. Some of you have dealt with a lot of conflict when it comes to communicating with this individual. I feel like there might have been a war of words in some instances as a result of one individual not making the other person a priority. Some of you might felt have felt as if this individual wasn't putting you first or wasn't taking your, um, you know, um, sort of energy into regard when they were completely disregarding it. It feels like that sort of, uh, you know, a scenario is playing out where this individual uh, might have overstepped their boundaries or done things in the context of this situation without really thinking things through. And as a result, it has forced you to change as a person. And I feel like your person doesn't really know what they can do with the new you. I feel like there's that energy that's coming across. Some of you have, you know, been in a position where you were not completely happy with this individual in the things they were doing, in the things that they were, um, you know, saying. It feels like there's this element of this individual adding, um, you know, grief and worry and those kind of energies into your world. And I feel like uh, for some of you, there's a sense of wanting to you know get a message across very strongly but it feels like there's a lot of conflict connected to that message some of you this person is wanting to you know take some type of an action but it hasn't yet been established what type of an action i feel like they're witnessing you change as an individual and you know the situation is getting out of hand for them in a manner where they are losing control So what I'm going to explore in the extended is your person's mind, heart, and soul energy. What type of action does this individual intend to take? Why is it that communication is resulting in some type of conflict in the situation? And what exactly is going on with this person as they view, you know, your transformations and changes? What are they going to do as a result of it? Are they going to, um, you know, come back to you with any form of communication? Because they feel like this individual is feeling very intimidated and threatened and something is definitely um, troubling them to a very large extent. Perhaps it is that uh, you've changed to the extent that they don't really recognize you or connect with you in the way that they used to and now they're trying to grapple for a new um, you know, direction in this situation, you know. So I hope you guys have enjoyed your reading. You can find the link in the description box below. Have a wonderful day and take care.